Hey, this is Uri Aditya. Welcome back to another math video. In this video, we will discuss a puzzle from a famous magazine that is the Strand magazine in the 19th century. And there is a story in the solution to the puzzle. The story is of a Indian mathematical genius. And the story is about the mathematical genius. He is from India. Let's look at the character of the story. The picture on the left is Srinivas Ramanujan, the main character. Ramanujan was uh, the self-taught mathematician. He had almost no formal education in pure mathematics. He made substantial contribution to the mathematical analysis, number theory, in finite series, continued fraction and including solution to the mathematical problems then considered unsolvable and uh, we have discussed Ramanujan sum Ramanujan sum in our previous video you can check out my channel for this video and a picture on the right is PC Mahalanavis that is Prashant Chandra Mahalanavis Ramanujan's countryman a fellow a fellow mathematician since the puzzle containing the famous trend magazine let's have a look at the magazine many of you have heard about the strand magazine here is the cover page of the strand magazine as how it is look like it is a really it is a British magazine founded by George Nunes and published in United Kingdom if you haven't heard about this is of no astonishment because uh, you would heard about Sherlock Holmes the interesting point here is uh, that uh, Sherlock Holmes first appeared on this magazine in 1891 and then it became world famous now let's look at the puzzle and the story the puzzle taken from the December issue of the Strand magazine 1914 and uh, the puzzle set in Louvain that is in Belgium and it is set in Belgium and uh, the villagers in Belgium were talking about the war they are discussing about the war. Let's see the problem. There is a man lives on a long street where houses were numbered on his side one, two, three, and so on. That all the numbers on one side of him added up exactly the same as all the numbers on the other side of him. He is given a point. The man knew that there was more than 50 houses on that side of the street, but not so many 500. Now the question is, find out how many houses were on the street and the number of houses in which man lived. And the story goes like this. Ramanujan's countryman, Prashant Chandra Mahalanabis, and we will call him Prashant here in our story the one you saw in the beginning he was a fellow mathematician and he was visiting Ramanujan at his room in Cambridge in England Ramanujan was cooking a meal at the kitchen and the present was uh, passing the time reading the 1914 December issue of the Strand magazine and he looked at this problem and he figured out and he solve it in a while after solving the problem Prasant turned to Ramanujan and said here that uh, there is a problem for, for there is a problem for you Ramanujan was uh, busy stirring the vegetables at the kitchen hearing Prasant Ramanujan asked to read the problem and uh, Prasant read the problem and uh, Ramanujan immediately said take down the solution here uh, Ramanujan 
his brain was a kind of magic and his brain is uh, as fast as light that's what i believe especially in mathematics and this is the problem which uh, ramanujan gives the solution and we will discuss the puzzle step by step so that we can understand better and let's pause the story for a little bit and uh, let's understand the puzzle step by step here we go man lives on a long street and uh, the houses were numbered and the uh, and there are other houses on the both side of him and uh, houses were numbered 1 to 3 and so on suppose there are n number of houses and uh, let us suppose the man lives on the house number m man lives here in m and there were n number of houses and we numbered 1 to 3 up to m minus 1 and uh, the man lives in m and the other houses were m plus 1 m plus 2 m plus 3 up to n let's say on the uh, on the left side the man on the left side uh, of uh, the person there are m minus 1 number of houses and on the right side there are n houses from m plus 1 and the puzzle says that there were more than 50 houses but not more than 500 houses this is the condition and one more thing the problem says the houses on the left side to the person is exactly equal to the sum of the houses on the right side of him that means the sum of the houses on the left side is exactly equal to the sum of the houses on the right side and uh, we express this in mathematically that is a uh, summation of uh, li that is the left side and i goes from 1 to m minus 1 and uh, is exactly equal to the summation of uh, right side that is z z goes from m plus 1 to n and the condition is ij is a natural number and uh, lr is also a natural number here are some mathematical formula that is uh, the sum of m minus 1 terms is exactly equal to m into m minus 1 divided by 2 this is one this one and uh, again we know the sum of n term m terms the summation of m terms gives a result of uh, m into m plus 1 divided by 2 this one and uh, the sum of n terms in a series gives a result of uh, gives a result of uh, there is n into m plus 1 divided by 2 and now let's come to the puzzle the puzzle says the summation of the houses of left side is exactly equal to the summation of houses in the right side that is on the left side houses were 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to m minus 1 m minus 1 and uh, right side houses were from m plus 1 m plus 2 m plus 3 up to n if we we already see we have already seen that uh, the sum of m minus 1 terms in a series is here this one and we put the value here we can put the value for this but we didn't get this one we didn't get this one so what do we need to do for the value of the right side sum we need to, uh, we need to sum the n houses and we subs we subtract the first 
we subtract uh, left side of houses to get uh, to get the right side of sum that is first total houses that is uh, 1 plus this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n minus minus we uh, subtract this up to the houses that uh, the man leaves that is 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to a minus 1 plus m the, the number of house that's m where the man lives then we get this result we get we get the result okay therefore 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to a minus 1 Therefore, we uh, get a result, the sum of m minus 1 terms, that is m into m minus 1, that is m, m into m minus 1, and the sum of n terms, that is n into n plus 1 divided by 2, and the uh, sum of m terms in a series is m into m plus 1 divided by 2. Now, there is a little algebra here. We get uh, we get uh, m into a minus one after cancelling the two in the both side. M into a minus one is exactly equal n into n plus one minus m into m plus one. After solving, we get the result two m square is exactly equal n square plus n. That is, and uh, if we multiply this one by 4 in the both side we get this one 2 into 2 m square 2 into 2 m whole square is exactly equal twice n plus 1 whole square minus 1 that is if we put the value twice m is exactly equal m and uh, n is exactly equal n plus twice n plus 1 then we get the equation in the form of 2m square is equal m square n square minus 1 therefore n square minus 2m square is equal 1 and this is the equation we get after solving and uh, Ramanujan gives a value to this equation to this equation that is this one there is a continued fraction and he uses magic to give this result and uh, n square minus 2 m square is equal 1 the value of this one is uh, 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over up to infinity there's an infinite fraction this is also a continued fraction and uh, this gives a result of n by m value which gives the result 3 by 2 17 by 12 99 by 170 577 by 408 up to infinity this is in, there are infinite solution to this equation n square minus 2 m square is equal to 1 but the question says there are more than 50 houses but not more than 500 houses so we need to put the value from 577 over 408 let's look at this putting the values of m and n we get the uh, number of houses on the street and the number of houses in which man lives therefore n n is equal we know we n is equal to m by 2 that is m is equal twice n we have already put it small m is equal capital M divided by 2 that is capital M is equal to twice M and uh, small n is equal n minus 1 over 2 that is twice n plus 1 is equal capital N we already put the value for capital N and capital M there we go after solving uh, putting the value we get this one for the values of m we get one six thirty five two zero four 
and for the values of m we get uh, 1849288 therefore the houses on the left side and on the right side and one the man lives we can get one two three up to two zero three on the left side and on two zero four on which the man lives and two zero five two zero six two zero seven up to two eighty eight where total number of houses on the right side therefore we get a result by trial and error that uh, on the 204 number house the man lives and there are 203 houses on the left side and there are 288 houses from 205 on the right side therefore the sum of first 204 houses is ex 203 houses is exactly equal to the the sum of 280 houses from 205 and this is the solution let's re resume the story again Ramanujan dictated a continuous fraction that uh, express all the infinite solution to the problem but the puzzle gives a condition that uh, the number of houses is more than 50 but not more than 500 Ramanujan's solution to this problem gives no restriction of finite numbers that is what would happen if there is infinite number of houses and Ramanujan's answer to this puzzle gives a solution to a famous Pell's equation in the form of n square minus km square is equal 1 this is a Pell's equation and uh, where it is solvable by the recursive relation and uh, the general solution to this uh, Pell's equation obtained by continued fractional expansion of uh, under root k which gives a uh, result a plus 1 over a2 plus 1 over a3 plus a4 plus and this is the result where he get the solution now you can imagine hearing a puzzle to give a infinite answer to a puzzle makes Ramanujan super genius and magic but Prasan never stop asking him how he arrived to the solution and in an answer Ramanujan said as soon as I heard the problem I know the answer that was a continued fraction and he says he asked himself which continued fraction and uh, and, uh, and he asked himself which could be the continued fraction and uh, answer just comes to him as he said and uh, can you imagine without any formal education any formal training in pure mathematics one person become a mathematical genius and super genius super intellectual isn't it a magic hearing a problem gives the infinite solution to the puzzle so this was the story of uh, the puzzle in the strand magazine hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching please like share and comment if you did not subscribe my channel please subscribe it thank you have a great day